think design is absolutely critical. I think that anything that's made needs to be designed, is naturally designed, and it's a case of designing it for its, its function uh, and within the cost constraints. But nevertheless, good design is, is really important to the success of machines that we do. And I think worldwide, it's, it's, it's just that it has to be linked directly to the use and the cost of these machines. But absolutely, design is, is so, so important. And that's, I mean, that's why I'm here. That's, that's why my team exists, and we really exist to bring good design. Um, and also in a changing world, this changing world is really where design has become ever more important and we can use that to make uh, our machines better to use, pleasure to use and, um, and much more functional too. There are probably two main things that I see have been changing. One is the importance of industrial design. Uh, the inspiration coming also from automotive design and that link to the ever-changing technology. We live in a world today that technology is running fast and that technology running fast gives a wonderful opportunity to industrial design because we need to design with the technology to make the most of it. So it's, a, it's, it's never really been better. It's a fantastic time to be a designer in the world of agriculture and construction. It's a challenge because it's, I, come from my, I come from automotive design, where style is and was important, very important. I now work in an area where style is not a, we don't need style. But nevertheless, good design can give style to our machines. But it, style is not a key. Good design is the key. You know, we depending on the brands, be it New Holland brand, Case IH brand, um, we have different visions depending on the, the, the New Holland or Case IH brand. The visions are different. Uh, the values are slightly are different between the, the companies. But our main aim is to work hand in hand with engineering and technology and work as one team. So the industrial design team don't go out on their own, just do their own thing. We are really an, an integral part of the product development team, um, trying to get the best and starting from zero to build up. I think we, we just have to be very careful, you know, how much it costs to actually build the machines that we make. And if there's any extra money involved in the actual design parts, are, is that worth it? Will we get money back on that? But, um, but I think it's something that's growing, you know. And although cost is a sensitive issue, I think good design can be cost effective. And that's why in the new projects that we work on, we, we start knowing that from the beginning and taking that into account as we design. I think the best way is, the easiest way for us when we start together with engineering at the start of a program, we can really understand how to make it cost effective. Uh, and concentrate on these areas. So we don't want to overstyle. We don't want to just design for design's sake. It's got to be designed for function. And if we do that, I believe it can be very much cost effective. And you know, to do something that's not well done or not that well done, often costs the same. And good design can even save money. You know, if, if it's done from the very beginning and there's a one team from engineering brand who all go down the same route and are focused on, on where we want to get to, things can actually be even less expensive to manufacture, uh, less expensive to build, and better looking in the end. So it's possible. I, I know it's not, it doesn't sound obvious, 
but it is actually really possible to do. And I think that's our aim, is to, to give appropriate design to the market and, and the end user. Well, maybe it's, it, it's a little bit of our maybe design process. So we, we, um, we have a process where we, we have a design vision. So for each brand, we have a vision of how things should look. But then depending on the product itself, uh, we would kick off ideas with our designer, design team, globally also. We, we work with designers in India here and uh, international teams. We would come up with ideas. We would very quickly turn the best, the most promising ones, uh, which have been reviewed together with people from brands, for example, New Holland brand and engineering, so it's never done without all the players together. Because one needs to know if the design direction is right, the others need to understand if we're way over cost or there's issues. But then we need to go into 3D data very quickly because that allows uh, the team to analyze. And these, uh, the analytics that they do help to come back with a function because we also have big issues on tractors. Not issues, but does it overheat? Are the grills enough? Are they in the right place? And that sort of thing's really important to do early on because that's a very important functional part of what we do. And then it comes back and we can understand whether we're over cost. If we're over cost, we, we go back, take a step back, think about it, and, and then come back with, with proposals. I mean, the, the key requirements for the Indian market is, I think, the simplicity, the, the robustness also of the machines. They should be easy to use, solid, stand up to um, long lasting. Uh, but we want to also give them the same quality of design as all our international brands. So we, we, we want to make machines that are easily recognizable worldwide, even though they be for a local Indian market. And that's, that's also one of the reasons why I'm here in these days. We've got a big reviews on, on local products as well. Uh, there's a lot happening. It's a great time for design in CNH Industrial. And, uh... Wow, it's it's yeah, it's really really happening. I, I could say that the the whole creation of the India Tech Center um, is something unique, I believe, within CNH Industrial. Uh, there's all the competencies here. Uh, that that are really growing and it's growing even further and it's become really a center of excellence for our company so there's this it's incredible to come and see this and be a part of it